All right, this is my third day trying to film this food video. I feel like you can only eat so much. And after a while, you're just like eating just to eat. But I'm actually hungry right now, and we're gonna be trying out a spot called Australia Dairy Company. It's really big when it comes to like Hong Kong style food. I'm trying to get some. Don't be disappointed. Uh oh, is it close? Is it close? Oh. So we're over here in Australia Dairy Company. Definitely a popular spot to come here for just morning, morning lunch, like Hong Kong style food. Uh, be forewarned, the customer service here is very, very non-existent. All the guys over here are like no bullshit, old school. Chinese guys that do not give a fuck. They just want you to hurry up, order, and get in. So try to inconvenience them as less as possible, right? But they don't take any offense. This is, they're just doing their job, and it's strictly a business transaction. It also helps that if you guys speak a little bit of Cantonese and just be very, like, you know, firm with them, then they'll definitely respect you for sure, and they'll definitely help you out. And it's really crowded, so you pretty much, it's one of those places you eat, you get out, you eat, you enjoy and you get the fuck out. No bullshit. But uh, we've ordered a couple. We've ordered a couple plates. A couple plates. You definitely, when you come here, you definitely have to try the macaroni soup, with the luncheon meat, some uh, rolls, and definitely order the egg sandwich for sure. That's also popular one of those small too. No. Oh. And as usual, when you come to Hong Kong, you got to get yourself the meat night pot, which is the Hong Kong milk tea. And you also get the, you gotta get the French toast as well too. So definitely come come to this place, order all this great food. It's fucking amazing. It's fantastic. Oh here. Also, when you're trying the macaroni soup with the luncheon meat, get some a little bit of the black pepper. Get some of this pepper over here to give yourself some flavor. And obviously with the French toast, pour some syrup on here. <laughs> really hungry, really excited for this. Alright, first meal of day. Definitely must try the macaroni soup with the lunch in me. I think this is ham. Thank you. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. This is really good. It's incredibly simple. It gets the job done. This is good for like very extremely casual, simple settings of just good, like good, delicious, simple food. Don't come here expecting a, like upscale food. This is very good, like simple inexpensive food. As long as your expectations are down that way, it gets the job done. I mean, it's, it's not bad. I give, I give this a 7.5 out of 10. Macaroni's delicious, the broth is amazing. I'm gonna try some of this lunch and meat over here. Mm, not bad. It's very light, very delicious. Just what I prefer for all my breakfast, brunch, lunch meals. Okay. Not bad. Also, another thing that I gotta preface is that, you know, when you're coming here, it's very busy, locals, sure is coming in here, so, yeah, if you're coming in here with, like, a party of, like, one or two people, it's better to be sharing a lot of tables, a lot of seating. It's gonna be a bit weird, but, you know, with cramped Hong Kong spaces and a high, high, high population, people are just trying to get in, eat, share tables, and get the hell out. A little weird at first, but hey, you'll grow used to it. It'll be all right. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out the steak sandwich. White bread, eggs. Pretty simple. Oh wow. So 
so there's a good amount of margarine lathered inside the white bread. And the eggs, eating the eggs over here, it's very soft. It's like the softest, like softest, the smoothest eggs I've ever eaten. Like the texture isn't rough, it's not overcooked. It's more on the softer, rawer side of anything. Oh wow. I think I actually prefer this a little bit more than the macaroni soup. Not that I'm hating on the macaroni soup too much, but this is like this is actually pretty good. Like I actually enjoy this a lot. Mm. Wow. These, the eggs are just perfect. For the most part, you can screw up with the eggs because they can be you can overcook them. But they just feel so good in your mouth. I know this sounds kind of weird, but it's like a water slide in my mouth. Mm. Uh, so These are very lubricant. Milk butter. Wow. Good egg sandwiches. You're gonna be experiencing this egg pudding over here. Kind of like a milky substance over here. Oh my god, that is cold. You can taste a ton of almonds. I'm gonna say pudding. If you guys are a big fan of almonds, definitely try it out. I'm not too fond of them. But I can see if you're an almond lover, you can definitely love this, but it's not really for me. It's okay. I'm not a fan of almonds either. I, yeah, I'm not a fan of almonds. But it's delicious. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I may have overdone it in the, in the syrup department, but this looks so good. I had to try out their fresh toast. This looks freaking amazing. Let's have a taste real quick. Mm. It's really good. The French toast is pretty amazing. So much butter, so much sugar. The bread is just perfect. A good amount of fluffiness. Has a little crunch, like a slight crunch to it, so evenly bounces everything out. French toast, highly recommended it. Woo! Oh God. All right, so we just finished eating here. I gotta say, very simple food but good, simple food, really delicious. I think total, I think we paid for three uh, three French toast, the three macaroni soups, uh, what else? Can't even remember, like a bunch of tea, like a bunch of drink, like three drinks and three egg sa sandwiches. And I think the bill total came out to roughly around $42 US. So we actually ordered a decent amount of food for three people. If you're coming here and if you don't speak Cantonese, definitely come here know what you want to order and if you, even if you don't speak Cantonese have pictures ready know what you want to order beforehand and then just point pictures and then give like two three four whatever the quantity is because if you don't I mean I gotta say these male waiters will walk all over you and fucking be frustrated and pissed off at you so the more firm you are the more they're gonna fucking respect you definitely try out Australia Dairy Company I have no idea why it's called Australia Dairy Company but just remember if you're coming here don't this isn't the place where you can just dally around and relax. It's pretty hectic and it's a true organized chaos. Why do you think, what's the attraction with the dairy, Australian dairy? I think it's generally really popular with locals. It's like, what we ate is like a fusion of Western food with like the macaroni salad, as well as like Hong Kong influences as well too. And it's fairly affordable and very, and very inexpensive. So that's why you see like the majority of people coming out here, like so mostly locals. Yeah. There seem to be a lot of locals that, that yeah. come here and that. So. I, mean, right, I mean, right now there's like a, a massive line. And half it's, past one. yeah, and it's almost half past one. You know, so you can definitely see the popular popularity amongst locals over here. Yeah, what would you say to people coming here then? What, what, what is it? What would you prepare them for? Dude, I, I'd say know what you're gonna, know what you're gonna order ahead of time and be firm with them. I feel like with a Western restaurant experience, especially with customer service, they're too pampered. They're used to the pampered treatment. They come here, like, oh, sir, what can I get you? Like, you know, 
And if you come, and if you come to this, and if you come with that expectation, to Australia Dairy Company, they're just gonna take you as a joke, and they'll just walk all over you. Like these guys, like they're firm, and they don't care if you're pissed off or whatever, which can be a good thing, but also it can be a bad thing. So I, I guess what you're saying then is like, be prepared to yeah, know just, what you yeah, want. Just be pre be prepared to know what you want, and be firm with them, and that's it. Yeah. That's it. No chit chat. No, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Just, this is strictly a business restaurant transaction. Yeah. You give them your order, they give you the food, the end. Yeah, okay. No hard feelings, don't take it personal, it's the way it is. I think it's pretty ki kitschy that yeah. they have a name Australian Dairy Company, yeah. that's really bizarre, that yeah. one. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. it's like pretty that's, out there. Yeah, that still is a mystery, yeah. Australian Dairy Company. Australian Dairy Company, so, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I, I found the experience interesting. Yeah. It's a good experience. At least you hear it once. You know, just, ex just most importantly, expectation management. Yeah, cool.